Hey guys, today I'm gonna share with you three exercises you can start doing to correct an uneven jaw or facial structure. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brett Maverick here. I hope you all are having an awesome day so far. Here on this channel, we talk about everything self-development, men's lifestyle, fitness, facial structure, you name it, we talk about it. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and turn those post notifications on. And please consider following me on Instagram at Brett MVRK. I put a lot of really cool stuff on there we won't find anywhere else. Unfortunately, there hasn't been a whole lot of research about facial asymmetry. But what we do know is that it can be extremely annoying. It can cause a lot of pain, clicking, popping, locking of your jaw. And that's not even to mention the asymmetry from an aesthetic standpoint. So I certainly understand why you would want to correct this. Unevenness of the jaw or face is most commonly caused by habits, not genetics. It's caused by repetition of doing the same thing over and over. For instance, if you were to curl a dumbbell with one arm a hundred times a day, but not the other arm, one of them is going to be way more developed than the other one. Just like if you are to chew only on one side or sleep on one side of your face, it's only natural for the other side to be underdeveloped. So I'm going to share with you three exercises that you can start doing. The first one is not an actual functional exercise. It's more of a lifestyle change. And this is correct tongue posture. Those of you who are familiar with my channel have probably heard this a hundred times, but bear with me. You need to have correct tongue posture. Asymmetry in your facial structure is most commonly caused by narrowing of your maxilla. That's this part of your mouth right here. It's the roof of your mouth. And the main cause of this is not having your tongue in the right position. So what you need to do is have your tongue pressed fully on the roof of your mouth at all times. It should look a bit like this. And it's most important to have it firmly against the roof of your mouth, especially in the posterior third of your mouth right there. And it should stop just a bit before your teeth starts. So you have constant pressure up against the roof of your mouth and it, and it actually forces your maxilla to expand. And as it expands, it moves forward. This will cancel out any malocclusion or clustering of your teeth and any muscle imbalances that will lead to unevenness in the face. A good test is by saying the word sing, sing. You will notice that the back of your mouth is making contact with the roof of your mouth mm, and then just lay it flat and keep it pressed on the roof of your mouth. So if you have constant pressure upwards from one of the strongest muscles in the body, your maxilla, the roof of your mouth will have no choice but to bring upwards and outwards, bringing balance back to your face. Now I'm gonna show you two functional exercises you can start doing to correct your facial asymmetry. Another cause of asymmetry is different lengths in your facial muscles and especially the masseter muscle right here, this muscle in the corner of your jaw. If you're chewing a lot on one side and one one of them is tighter and more developed than the other, then your bone is gonna slant towards the one that's tight. So we need to stretch out that tight masseter muscle. And so the first exercise is the downward stretch. So how you do this is you first just poke your thumbs right under your cheekbones, hold your face in place, and then stretch your mandible downwards. That's your jaw. And do this for about 10 seconds. So that's the first exercise. The next exercise is the lateral stretch. So first off, you wanna press gently on either side of your jaw just to see which side is more tight. You'll feel some tension on whichever side is more tight. And then you're just gonna give some firm pressure to each side of your jaw, pushing it the opposite direction for 10 seconds. So it'll look like this. So you're gonna do one set on each side and then two more balancing sets to whatever side was more tight. So if this side was tight, you would push this way for two more sets for a total of three sets. If we're doing a functional exercise to each side, then we gotta do a little bit more on the side that's actually tight just to actually kind of play the catch up game and get it back into that balanced symmetrical state. Do those about twice a day and over some time you should see some correction in that facial asymmetry. But just a disclaimer, I'm not an orthodontist or a medical practitioner. I've just done a lot of research on this topic. So I hope this works for you guys. In some cases, if your asymmetry is severe enough, you may need a medical device such as an expander or a phalange 
or surgery in rare cases. So just keep that in mind. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn those post notifications on. And until next time, bye.